Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the first uh, service uh, session of uh, the uh, WL Toys uh, Wild Truck Warrior. Uh, some of you may know that this uh, model is uh, a clone of uh, what here are uh, Twin Hammers model. And uh, in this uh, service episode I have my first problem with it. I managed to strip a wheel uh, hex and uh, bend its uh, pin because uh, the clutch is not uh, properly adjusted. So I'm going to replace uh, the hex which is easy and uh, you can use original parts for it so it's very easy to repair this car. And then I'm going to adjust the clutch to prevent uh, further damage when uh, driving this car. So uh, stay with me and uh, see how that is done. I'm going to start by taking the wheel off with the wrench and you will see what uh, problem uh, I have here in a moment. If I take the wheel out you can see how the hex is looking and this is how a new hex should look. Look at that, it's completely stripped and even some bits of plastic are hanging from him. While the pin, just let me take it out, it won't come easily because it's really bent up. So I got to find the position. It will come out eventually. And there it goes. Look at look at it. You can see it's no longer straight and it's deformed pretty bad. So I could have broken something else on uh, this car, but he did hold on uh, very nice and uh, the weakest uh, part has uh, broken. So in the future I'm not going to use aluminum uh, wheel hubs, uh, sorry hexes, because it's better to break uh, an insignificant piece of plastic than uh, break your uh, transmission. So good job there and now I'm going to put a replacement part. I'm now going to take the old hex out. And you can see it more closely and the new hex. Of course this one will fit as new. Perfect and flush fit and now the new pin just going to put it back into the drive shaft pin is inserted and now I'm gonna take care for the pin to match the hex and that is now properly fixed and I am also going to change the wheel nut as these are locking nuts that have a plastic uh, locking washer inside so a new one will hold on better and will prevent it from slipping especially that I have uh, taken this out before to check what's wrong with uh, this wheel so now it's not only secure but just as tight as it's uh, needed. You don't want to make them too tight and to force the wheel onto the hub. It will rub onto the bearing or you can create other problems. You just want it to have no play and the wheel should spin easily. But this should be tight enough. So this is just fine. 
to adjust the slipper clutch which is in uh, this housing here uh, you are going to need a freshly charged lipo battery of course the transmitter because you are going to see why and uh, of course the key to adjust it uh, you need to pop up the rubber protective cap which is this one and there it has the tensioning spring uh, and uh, this uh, locking uh, nut when this is uh, screwed in uh, more it will uh, make uh, more pressure on the spring and the spring will uh, push the clutch harder uh, and will prevent slippage when the screw is uh, loosened up then the spring tension will be lesser and uh, the clutch will start uh, slipping so I know that uh, on my car this is too tight and you can also see that it's almost impossible to press the spring just with my finger so I'm going to start by uh, loosening it up a few turns or just one two turns not uh, I don't want to exaggerate and uh, then I'm going to show you how to adjust it I have uh, loosened up the screw just a bit uh, now I'm going to install the battery I'm also going to secure it take the transmitter if we have power all right uh, to calibrate the clutch uh, the easiest way to do it will be by uh, using the transmitter as a brake for one wheel and keeping the other wheel very fixed so like this both wheels are now blocked and I'm going to use throttle but I'm going to be careful not to uh, uh, make the car uh, jump at me and kick me and you can see even if I uh, push the throttle very hard it will uh, still uh, try to hit me but it will not uh, uh, slip so I still need to uh, untight the screw a bit more so I have loosened up the nut almost to the end of the screw and uh, I'm going to test it one more try. Being a 4x4 uh, I will also hold the front wheel and uh, the rear wheel like that and I'm going to try it again. And you can uh, Hear it that was the clutch spinning so it's doing its job now uh, just to be sure that it's not too loose I'm just going to tighten it up just a bit because you don't want this uh, clutch to slip while you run the car because it will overheat and uh, burn the uh, plates a very important note is uh, that uh, when you are testing the clutch adjustment you only need to throttle up the car just for a tiny moment because if you keep accelerating it and uh, the clutch will not slip and you have uh, blocked the wheels uh, you will draw a huge amount of current and it can uh, potentially burn your ESCs or uh, damage something uh, uh, at uh, the car transmission so just be quick when you throttle it up and if it does not slip turn it off, adjust it again and try later also check from time to time uh, your ESC not to be ho hot if it's uh, hot take a pause disconnect the battery, let it cool, try again later you don't want to force it too hard because you can break it trying to adjust it so this was the clutch adjustment I hope that uh, uh, you will uh, have uh, success in uh, adjusting it properly and I'll see you next time bye bye